Hello everyone! As you already know, in Oracle VC has been recently released, so we decided to create a video tutorial to help you to install it by your own. First of all, go to oracle.com and download Oracle VFC. Then get Oracle Enterprise Linux 6 from idealivery.com slash Linux and also download VisualBox from oracle.com. Okay, now let's create a virtual machine. New. Next. Next. Create. I drive for the folder 30 gigabyte create okay now go to settings you can disable audio and change network to the bridge adapter you should mount the installation of the enterprise Linux and start the virtual machine. Okay, install new system. Skip. Next, next, next. Next, reinitialize all. Oracle 12 C for the host name. Select back to Azerbaijan. Next, provide the root password. Use anyway. Use all space. Next, right change the disk. Customize now. Next. It's like compatibility libraries. Debugging tool. It's like glibs. Close. Ledger Unix compatibility. Select. QSH. Down. Everything's okay. Desktop select desktop. Desktop debugging. General purpose desktop. Legacy window system. Close X window system. Go to applications. Select Internet Browser. From development, select additional development. Click on optional packages. Go down. Select all liberated packages. Motif Linux or DBC Sorg. Okay. Click close. Go to development tools. That's all. Now click next.
Okay, now I reboot the virtual machine. Click forward. 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 I'll create a user, for example, admin. and finish okay operating system is ready now let's log in with the root user okay now let's install guest additions to enable features such as mouse point integration uh, shared folders shared clipboard and so on now click to right control button to go out from the virtual machine Go to Devices, select Install Guest Editions. Get into the virtual machine again. OK. Run. OK. Press Enter. Um, the installation is completed now. We can move the mouse out of the virtual box easily. Here it is. So, um, now we're able to the virtual machine to activate the additions. System, down, restart. Okay, now let's configure the network. Provide an IP address for this machine. Check connect automatically. Apply. Close. Connect terminal. IP address. Okay. And check DC host file as well. Here it is. Perfect. Uh, now let's create a shared folder between host and guest systems to copy the installation files from the host machine to the guest machine. Go to devices, shared folders. Add new shared folder, go to path, go to mount, OK, OK. So now let's uh, create a mount point for the shared folder. And mount the shared folder to this mount point. Okay, now let's copy the installation files to the TMP folder. And now while we copy the installation files, let's make prerequisite configurations. Open new terminal. We have an installation configuration file here. First of all, let's change the lemisconf file. Save and exit. Now let's make change to the system parameters.
it. Okay, perfect. Okay, now let's create operating user groups and the Oracle user. Provide a password. Okay, the copy has finished. Now change the owner of the installation files, unzip both files and start the installation. Okay, now let's switch to the database folder and start the installation. Install just database software. Next, single instance. Next, next, enterprise edition. This is my home directory. Next, next, next. Okay, perfect. Now we can install the software. Okay, now we need to run this both shell scripts with root user. And here's the second one. Okay. The software installation has finished successfully. Now uh, let's create a database. But first of all, let's set the environment variables. Switch to the home folder, bash profile, okay, run the file, call database configuration assistant. Next, provide the database name, provide the password. Next, yes, finish. Here it is, the database created successfully. Now let's connect the database from the SQL Plus. That's all guys, have fun with the new version, see you in the next tutorial.